as I stand here and watch the sunrise, it makes me think, would anybody still come here if it wasn't hot? Because I know I wouldn't. Buenas dias, good morning. Welcome to Tenerife. This is part of the Canary Islands, it's part of Spain, but it's nowhere near Spain. If you keep swimming that way, you're gonna to get to Africa, Morocco. So, this place is very, very warm. Today, not so much, but usually it's very warm. And thousands and thousands and thousands of people, tourists, come here and so many hot places around the world every single year. And it made me think, are we chasing the sun? Are we chasing the places? Are we running away? What is it about going to warm places that people, people do every single year? And for me, there's a few different reasons why I wanna to go to warm places. Number one, how it makes me feel. Number two, things I wanna do. And number three, I hate the cold. And where I come from in England, it's very cold. Right now it's raining and I just wanted to get away. I hated it so much. I hate waking up, looking outside and seeing the rain. It makes me not want to go outside. It makes me not want to do anything. So when I wake up and I look outside and I see this, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel better and it makes me want to get up and it makes me want to get out there and do stuff. People have different reasons for traveling, but for me, the weather is, I, I wouldn't say it's number one, but it's definitely a priority because I don't want to go to cold places. And when I do go to cold places, I'm very, very, very happy to leave. But when I leave here, I know I'm going to go back to the cold. I know I'm going to go back to the wind and the rain. And I'm going to wish I was back here because I don't feel good when it's, when it's rainy. I don't feel good when it's windy. I have never, ever, ever heard anybody ever say, yeah, I really want to go on vacation. I want to get some cold. <laughs> Nobody's ever said that in the history of ever. Ooh, nearly got splashed. But people say, I want to go on vacation because I want to get some sun, I want to get some heat, and I want to get away from the cold. Now, people live in cold places, and they love it. And I don't understand this at all. If you're one of these people, I don't understand. I really don't understand because it doesn't make me feel good, and it doesn't make me want to go outside and do stuff. It's different if you're on vacation. I've been to very cold places. I've been to Iceland, I've been to some very, very cold places and the activities there, it needs to be cold to do it. But when I come to places like this, I feel so different. I don't think it's just about emotions and how you feel. It's definitely something scientific as well because the sun does something to us. Life is always better with a tan, by the way. So the sun definitely helps. And as soon as I say that, it starts to rain. What are the chances? I picked the one week out of the whole year to come to Tenerife where it's raining. And you want to see the wind? The wind is doing this. Look at that. If you go in there, you are not coming out. <laughs> Very dangerous. Look at that. So, so, so dangerous. Beautiful place. As you can see, the red flag is everywhere. Everywhere on the island, you see a red flag. Absolutely no swimming. There's people surfing the other side. We're going to walk over there now, but absolutely no swimming i picked the worst time to come to tenerife but but it's still better than being in the cold in england because even though it's raining it's not cold rain which sounds stupid but <laughs> it makes me feel so good when i'm in the sun but you don't want it too hot because i used to live in florida and florida gets very 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 hot and it has the opposite effect because if it's too cold or it's too hot we like to complain. British people love to complain about the weather. If you meet any British people, I would say it's gonna take them about a minute to ask you about the weather. But it's just started pouring, so let's take a walk. I'm gonna be in Tenerife for one week and I'm in Puerto de la Cruz. And like I said, if you keep swimming that way, you'll get to Africa. We are nowhere near Spain. I have no idea how this place is, is Spanish, but we're in Spain. So when I said I've never heard anybody say I really want to go somewhere and get some cold. People go to cold places but they go there to do stuff. Snowboarding or um, skiing. But nobody ever says I'm going there for the cold. But people will literally go to a hot place just for the heat. They just want to sit on the beach. They want to do nothing. That's what I wanted to do this week but it's not going to happen because all the beaches are closed. Nobody's allowed to swim and it's not that hot. But people go to cold places to do stuff. People go to hot places to do nothing. This is the natural pools. I plan to go there, but it hasn't been open since I've been here, just because the weather's been so bad. But the weather definitely changes what we do, how we feel. 
and I literally came here for the sun that's literally the only reason why I came here and we haven't had that so far so we're gonna walk all the way over there it's pouring you're ruining my holiday how dare you ruin my holiday but it's 9 a.m. right now and the streets are empty everybody's staying inside their hotels because there's no Sun if this was sunny the beach will be full people would be swimming nobody would be inside their hotels but there's no Sun so people want to stay inside the main reason people come to hot places is to do nothing it sounds so strange but I don't want to do anything I just want to sit around a pool go to the beach but I can't do that this week so I literally don't want to do anything the rain is an absolute game changer as well because even if it's hot even if it's sunny but it's raining people's mood definitely changes because I hate the rain I hate the rain so much but I think I would rather I'd rather it be very very cold without rain than a little bit cold with rain because rain is just rain rain is no good especially on holiday but this is the natural pause so I've walked past every single day and they set up every single day but I haven't seen them open I haven't seen anybody go in there just because the weather's been so bad but there's not many tourists here at this time of course it's, it's March today it's March the first today so first day of the month but yeah not many tourists but there's no Sun so people come here for the Sun sign just fell over let me pick it up there you go that's good karma for the day so yeah people people come here for the Sun if there's no Sun then they don't want to do anything but that's okay life is what you make it learn to dance in the rain but streets are empty so how about back to the scientific stuff is there something in in the sunlight or the sun rays I don't know that makes you feel better yeah I think so I think so I, I don't just think it's the fact of seeing the Sun or feeling the Sun I think it definitely some, does something to our body and like I said being tan definitely makes me feel better life is better with the tan but the Sun the Sun does something to us look at this why do people have to do this graffiti on a coke machine why okay look everybody's hiding everybody's under shelter you know I plan to wake up early make this video because I think it's something interesting to talk about but I did expect it to be raining so I think I'm gonna look very very stupid talking about the Sun when it's raining oh well we're just coming to the surfing beach yeah there's still people surfing this morning I think the most popular job in Tenerife is beer delivery I see beer being delivered all the time all day there's beer being delivered but yeah there's still surfers out this morning amazing look at that view look at that so the number one attraction on Tenerife is the mountain or the volcano people like to come here and hike it today's perfect hiking weather maybe not because it's wet but yeah it's not too hot you can't go hiking in when it's too hot but yeah still people surfing I'm sorry if you can hear the wind but we're gonna step on the beach look at this black beach so you see the red flag absolutely no swimming too dangerous is the beach black because of the ash the volcanic ash from the volcano I think that's the reason that would make sense but yeah black beach I'm trying to hide from the wind a little bit but I'm always curious where people live that watch my video so tell me where you're from if you're from a hot place do you live there because it's hot and I know it's one of the reasons why people move to hot places is because of the weather but is that the main reason why you chose to live where you live because I would definitely live in a hot place just because it's hot but people that live in cold places people that live in Alaska people that live in the north of Norway why tell me why tell me why you live there of course I don't think people live places just because of the weather but why don't you live in a hot place because I could I, I physically could not live in Alaska I physically could not do it doesn't matter how beautiful it is it doesn't matter doesn't matter how much money I make I don't want to live in a cold place because literally just because of how it makes me feel so anybody that lives in a cold place have you ever thought about moving away because of the weather like forget about jobs forget about family like literally because of the weather has it ever made you want to move away because it's it will be very very difficult for me to live in Canada or for me to live you know in the north of Norway because it's it's too cold it's simple as that you know these places are beautiful I've seen the northern lights you know I've been to cold places but I'm very very happy to leave I've never ever ever done surfing before one last look because all I want to do today is I want to get some donuts and I want to go back to bed <laughs> that's literally all I want to do if it was sunny if it was hot 
I would want to be sitting on the beach, I would be want to swimming, but I don't want to do anything today. I'm literally going to go right now, get some donuts and go back to bed because I don't want to be outside. So this is the volcano that's on Tenerife. You can take a cable car up there. But yeah, that's literally the main attraction. So loud. So of course there's so many water sports here, but there's also a animal embassy. This is like an animal park and it just doesn't look good. They put like jet skis next to a killer whale. It wouldn't make me want to go jet skiing, but yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do. Tours and stuff, jet skis and, um, and quad bikes. Pretty cool. That's a cool building. All different colors. That's cool. But here's a question. Which one are you today? Tell me which one you are today. I think I'm I'm number one. I'm always the, I'm always the first one. I'm always happy. Even when it's rainy and cold, I'm happy. <laughs> Sometimes I'm that one, but that's okay. So going back to being British, we love to talk about the weather. We love to complain about the weather because we will 100% complain, it's so cold. And then when the weather gets hot, we will 100% complain, it's so hot. We love to complain, we love to complain about the weather. But like I said, if you meet any British people, they would definitely talk about weather. It's such an easy, it's an easy conversation because you don't have to know anything about the person. It could be a stranger, it could be the first person you're meeting. You can talk about the weather. So right now, if I was to meet anybody, I would say, yeah, the weather's bad, huh? It's such an easy, easy introduction. It's an easy thing to bring up. But yeah, we British, we love to complain about the weather. You think I was joking about the donuts? I'm literally going to go buy donuts right now and go back to bed. Welcome to Dino Land. Is 9 a.m. too early for a cerveza? Yeah, it is. Look at the prices. It's super cheap for single beers. Really, really cheap. That's euros, by the way, euros. That one's making me nervous. Look at that. That is on the edge. Not gonna lie, kind of embarrassing how many donuts I just bought, but I'm on vacation. La leche. By the way, yesterday I talked about this street and I said nothing is open and I wonder if it's because it's seasonal or because they open late in the day I would say half of these stores opened at like 10 or 11 but the other half they just weren't open at all so yeah I guess a lot of these stores are they're only open in the peak season which is of course summer because that's when most of the tourists come but look at Homer I found Homer if you want to get some real estate here in Tenerife here's some of the prices you can get this one 145 you can get this empty empty box for 26,000 or this one's for me this is the one I'm gonna get 950,000 euros yeah that's for me but the prices are not too bad 100,000 98,000 not bad but as you can see not many people there are people here yesterday the streets were busy but it wasn't raining yesterday everybody's staying in the hotels because you come to places like this for the Sun so when there's no Sun it's it's not good it's not good but it's okay it's not cold it's definitely not cold it's the rain that scares people away but it's yeah I'm still wearing shorts but yeah it's a bit of a bummer when when there's no Sun there's a primary school just over there I was sitting in this square yesterday and a group of them walked by me and said hello they were so cute but I'm literally going back to bed so by the way I reply to every single comment so if you want to write me a comment you can write it and I'll reply to it but I'm gonna go relax for a few hours and I'll see you soon I guess let's see if we can do something later but it's literally 9 30 going to bed adios it's a good job I came back to the hotel it's pouring These streets are so cool, but I always wonder how do the fire trucks get down here? Like if there's a fire right here, do they just drive down here? I don't know. But yeah, the weather's cleared up. It's super nice now. And everybody here speaks English, by the way, because mi español es malo. Ah, oh, 
let it sit for a while. Living in a tourist place and visiting a tourist place are two completely different things. I've lived in a tourist place and people say, wow, it must be amazing. And it is, but of course, living somewhere is very different. This place seems like a very, very, very nice place to live. It really does. There's kids playing over here. I think these kids are happier here than if they lived in downtown Barcelona. I do think so. If you live in a tourist place, think about it and tell me, how long did it take for the novelty to wear off? Or maybe it hasn't. Maybe you still love living in a very touristy place. Here's another question. Have you ever eaten a toffee apple? I think Americans call them a candy apple. I've never ever eaten one. There's a candy store over there that sells them. And it made me think I've never ever had one. It's a little bit windy, so it's not hot, but it's very nice. Just We're just gonna walk, see what we can find. There's a Chinese restaurant. I think it's super funny that on the menu, they have Spanish, English, Swedish, German, French, Finnish, but no Chinese. <laughs> By the way, I can speak Chinese if you didn't know that, or Hui Shou Zhongwen. But I already know, I've never, I haven't been in there, but I already know that there's Chinese people working there. I have no idea what that one is. Ants in the tree? Jesha Shema. Sunglasses, bike, let's keep walking. I love these small streets. They're so cool. But like I say, a fire engine wouldn't get down here, so it's kind of dangerous. Yesterday we went that way, so we're not going to go there again because it seems like the sketchy part of town. But this place is really cool. It's really cool. It's nothing special. Like, I wouldn't say, yeah, you really need to go to Tenerife, but it's a really nice place. I would love to come back in summer, but you're going to get so many people. I would say in terms of tourists, a lot of British people, but Germans too. A lot of German people. So Tenerife is not a big place. I'm in Porto de la Cruz and I don't plan on going into any other any other areas of Tenerife to be honest because I don't want to. But I'm going there on Sunday because I'm watching a football game so that should be fun but yeah there are other stuff, things to do on the island but I don't want to go there. That's where we started this morning, right there. Waves are crazy. Crazy. kids in that park are so cute they were finishing school going to the park and saying hola to their friends so I guess they go there every day after school but then two homeless people did exactly the same thing <laughs> they were like hola so I guess they go there every day too yes it is raining again and yes I am going back to bed no donuts this time but thanks for watching let me know what you think about the weather stuff and I'll see you again soon adios